Paper. It might be one of the most disposable items in our day-to-day -day lives. Today, almost all paper is manufactured using industrial machinery. But the ancient tradition of hand paper making survives today as a specialized craft and medium for artistic expression. For this project, we started with a fiber from Thailand called Kozo. It is the inner bark from the mulberry tree. Step one. The fiber is soaked overnight in preparation for cooking. Step two. The fiber is added to boiling water and cooked for about an hour, stirring occasionally. Step three. After an hour, we add soda ash, also known as sodium carbonate, which has been used in manufacturing for over 5,000 years. For paper making purposes, soda ash is strong enough to dissolve out the non-cellulose parts of the fiber. In other words, we're softening the fiber and cooking out the woody components to it. Almost like making spaghetti. Step 4. The kozo is cooked in boiling soda ash for about 2 hours. Just like you strain your vegetables, we strain the kozo for a few minutes. We test its readiness by pulling apart the fibers both lengthwise and widthwise. When we can part the strands easily, that's when it's ready to be rinsed. Step five, we rinse and wash the fiber again, much like you might rinse your pasta after it's been cooked. We know it's ready when the water runs clean. Step six, the fiber is ready for beating which essentially means we're separating out the individual fibers. For hand beating, we use a piece of wood or mallet. In contemporary paper making studios, they would use the equivalent of a food processor. Step seven. Once all the fibers have been beaten, we have what is called pulp, the cellulose material of the plant. Yes, just like the pulp from your orange juice. The pulp is dispersed into a large vat of water. Step eight, we dip and pull through what is, in paper making speak, a mold and decal to make the sheets of paper. It's essentially a screening system with the frame. The individual fibers lock together, the water is drained through the screen, and we are left with a thin surface of pulp. Step nine, the sheet is laid onto a wooden surface to dry and can simply be peeled away after about 24 hours. 